welcome to Roland Ram Studios, where I share my life experiences, knowledge, thoughts, and passions. My name is Roland, and we're going to get into another episode of Hobbies, Health, and Happiness. This episode is about uh, being be positively alive by living a no-nonsense life. So I was going to go over several things that I do in my personal life that I thought could be helpful to others. Um, and uh, I've read a lot of different books about this, uh, different um, articles, seen YouTube videos, um, and, and there's just a, a, a load of stuff out there. So living your best life, your positive life, is really great for your mental health, for your physical health and for everyone around you. And then I'll get into some specifics that I do on a daily basis that really help me and hopefully they will help you. So one of the things that I uh, start the day off with is I get up at 5 a.m. Uh, uh, most weekday mornings. I do this so that I have time. Uh, I have to be at work at 8, so I have time to do a little bit uh, for me. So usually at that time in the morning, I'll get up, um, reluctantly sometimes go and do a little bit of exercise, like a 30 minute uh, workout. And it's not nothing real major. It's either like a cardio workout or a lightweight workout for 30 minutes. I try to focus on different aspects of my, my physical body, my uh, core and things like that. Right after I finish that, I go into a, a short uh, prayer session and y'all can use meditation. Uh, yoga, uh, whatever mental exercise that you think is helpful for relaxing your mind. And, and that's that's the thing I do in the morning. I usually get up at five o'clock in the morning, but I try to get to bed at 10 o'clock at night. So that usually gives me a good seven hours of sleep at night. Um, and that's enough for me to be fully rested and to start the day. Um, you may find that you need a little less sleep, a little more sleep, so you can adjust those times uh, as it applies to you. Also, some people don't work an eight to five. Some people work later in the day, maybe a 12 to nine, you know, different things like that. So definitely shift your uh, times according to your work and life schedule and you have family and, and things like that. So early morning exercise is, is really good for me. It helps uh, kind of wake my body up, gets me, um, gets that fire going in, in the metabolism, metabolism running in the morning. Um, also doing the prayers in the morning after a workout really helps me to kind of meditate, reflect, and um, give me a great uh, positive start to my day. I used to uh, eat breakfast a lot, uh, you know, oatmeal or eggs and bacon and stuff like that. But I've really tried to minimize that to, say, an apple in the morning. So uh, I try to eat a very, very light or no breakfast at all. Uh, I have taken a uh, program called Real Appeal. So if you have uh, access to that program, it's really great. It's a... Uh, it's a lifestyle, health lifestyle program and not necessarily focusing on uh, weight loss, which is a added benefit to all of these lifestyle changes. And I'll get to that in just a little bit as well. So on that uh, program, I've been on it for about three years um, and, and, I, and I say on it, but I, I'm living it. So it just made it part of my uh, lifestyle for the past three years. And I have seen like major changes. I was close to 250 pounds. I had sleep apnea. I was snoring. My wife was just really, you know, you know, staying up at night because of that. And so I had to have a, uh, a CPAP machine to to help me sleep. But, you know, it was it was horrible. I was just I didn't feel good. And so uh, this program helped me to um, lose uh, 40 pounds within within that time and it was probably within the first two years and in this last year i've been kind of just uh making a maintenance program and trying to keep that that weight off but the weight loss was initially important but i learned through the program that the weight loss is a byproduct of living healthy so that that's my key point here is if you live a healthy lifestyle weight loss will come but don't make that your goal because weight loss is 
is one of those things that it's great uh, to lose a little bit weight and feel better, but to be healthy, that's really the key for all of us. So keep that in mind and try not to focus so much on, uh, oh, I got to starve myself to death in order to lose weight. No, no, you can make proper choices. You can eat nearly anything you want, but just limit your portion size. Um, don't go for seconds. Um, don't. Uh, one of the big things that I found in this program that I've, I've constantly done is, is don't drink sugary drinks. So eliminate sodas. If you have to drink a soda every once in a while, try to get a, a diet drink, but diet drinks aren't really good either. So try to keep those to a minimum as well. When I drink my coffee, I, I drink it black. I don't, I don't put any sugar or cream in it. Uh, iced tea also, I don't put any sugar in my iced tea, but I mostly try to drink water at, at every meal and, and stay hydrated. And I think that has helped me uh, uh, stay healthier and, and just eliminate the calories that you get from sugars. Uh, which can accumulate in fat. So that that one thing has really helped me out a lot. Another thing was tracking. So tracking my weight on a daily basis. Um, well, not daily. I, I'd say like three times a week. I would track my weight. That way it gives me an idea of, okay, I'm here. I gained a couple of pounds. I need to kind of like maybe watch what I eat, try to eat less red meat, maybe eat more fish and chicken, you know, things like that. That uh, If you track what you're eating, and you track your exercise and um, and then you, you just track your health. And so that's really helpful is, is helping to to track your um, your lifestyle and uh, and your water intake. But mainly that program helped me track uh, my weight, my uh, exer exercise routine. It's like, oh, I only did it two times last week and I did it three times this week or wow, I did it four times this week. So really great. It has where you can track your steps. Um, and so it's it, tracking is, is very important. So tracking helps you uh, get to your goals. And, and like I said, the weight loss should not be your goal. Living a healthier and uh, and happier life that that should be your goal. So um, another thing is try to eliminate toxins in your body. I, I already talked about sugars. Sugars could be a really bad toxin for your body, and it's so common. I mean, we have uh, candy bars and. Um, uh, sodas and all kinds of stuff that you can just add tons of sugar into your body but food that you buy like cereals and packaged foods those already have a lot of sugars in them so you're getting a lot of sugar you don't even know that you're eating um, in the normal foods that you're eating so if you add more sugars with sodas and stuff like that it just it's just adding to the calories and building and building up so if you can kind of have a uh, look for a calorie uh, sweet spot for yourself you can talk to your doctor about this and and try to find what is the right amount of calorie intake for you and try to kind of gauge you know your different meals and try to to hit those calorie goals so i don't like really count calories and stuff like that but i do try to keep track of of what i'm uh putting into my body as, as much as i can uh, i do track my weight and exercise routines a lot more than i do food food i have a really hard time with but it, it is super helpful to track the food that you put into your body and water again water 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 is is very helpful for for you to flush out the the your body and keep you hydrated and healthy but also other toxins like smoking vaping um those aren't good for you so uh, I, I used to smoke i was a smoker myself i quit in 2000 and haven't looked back um and i'm really really glad that i did i still feel like i have a little bit of of, of uh, breathing uh, issues because of the the time that i put in smoking but i think i feel a lot healthier i can run i don't i'm not so winded like i used to be but other things also, uh, whether it be illegal drugs or even uh, prescription drugs, you know, try to, or, or pharmaceutical drugs, maybe I should say, try to limit the things that you use to do painkillers for your physical body and your mental state. Um, unless it's prescribed by your doctor, please, if you have medicine that's prescribed by your doctor, please take that, you know. Um, because your doctor knows best. I'm just talking about stuff like over-the-counter things like uh, uh, painkillers and things like that. You have a headache, oh, I'm going to take a painkiller. Oh, my shoulder hurts, I'm going to take a painkiller. Try to kind of work through those pains. You know, life is 
got these little aches and pains that you just need to cope with uh, differently. Try to do something physical for your physical and mental pains uh, if you can. Exercise is a good thing. Try to maybe do a little rigorous exercise 30 minutes a day. Going walking around your block, you know, in your neighborhood is a good thing. A light jog after maybe walk for, for a couple of weeks and then see if you can start jogging. And jogging really, really starts to uh, move their, your metabolism and, and helps your body and stuff like that. Stretching. Stretching is a, a really good thing. I, I usually have like lower back pain. And so I find that stretching helps me out a lot. Um, and there's different kind of stretching poses and, and techniques that you can do. So there's tons of stuff on YouTube that you can find uh, stress, stress, uh, to stretch your muscles and all over your body and stuff like that. And there's simple stuff like just, you know, stretching your arm across your shoulder or, or your neck. Sometimes your neck really builds up a lot of tension. So just doing little neck stretches or, you know, turning your head for a few min uh, seconds each morning and doing these little routines, they will really help you out throughout the day. And that Real Appeal program helped me with that as well. Um, yoga is another one that, that a lot of people like to do. Uh, and it, it incorporates some balance and stretching and stuff like that. I've done a little bit of yoga, but more uh, into, I do more stretching and, and cardio and uh, light uh, strength training. The other thing that... Um, that's real important is your mental health. So trying to get a good um, balance between your daily active, you know, you're at work and you're just got, you know, all these deadlines to hit and stuff like that. You need to have a time. Uh, I do it early in the morning with prayer, uh, with so, uh, self-reflection and meditation, uh, but you could use um, music, you know, listen to music. I like to create music sometimes early in the morning. So I'll, I'll be thinking about that and, and it really helps me uh, focus on something other than all the the day in and day out uh, routine that I have so music and um, maybe journaling uh, if you're artistic and you like to draw or paint use those things to ease your mind to relax your mind to get out of the day-to-day -day, um, activities and and craziness that sometimes life just throws at you and um, those are just some quick things that I wanted to share with you that I thought I use and I thought it would be helpful to you. So I urge you to try some of these things to look uh, for YouTube videos or, or enroll. Maybe your work has a program that uh, helps you with these types of uh, uh, stress relievers and stuff like that. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them uh, below. I'd love to hear what you use to as stress relievers. Please share because uh, your sharing will help maybe others in finding a stress, uh, less stressful life and living a happier, healthier life. Thank you. Um, come back. We'll have some more exciting and interesting topics to talk about in upcoming episodes. Thank you. God bless and have a great day and healthy day. Bye. Mm -hmm.